This is a time lapse of driving into Melbourne using OpenPilot 0.5.4. This is the wiggly version, the no wiggly I'll show later. So this version actually drove really well and to be honest it actually drove better than what no wiggle did in odd occasions. But unfortunately whenever I was near curbs um, it, it glitched bad, it grabbed the wrong thing. Uh, when we were near exits it wanted to take them, I let it go once and it actually did take an exit all by itself which is a little scary. So its ability to react to sharp turns and rapid turns was significantly better. I'd actually seen the steering wheel turn further than ever had before, I reckon I saw about 45 degrees on at one point. Um, previously I don't think I've ever seen it go beyond about 30 or 35. So that was open pilot actually causing that restriction previously. So you can see this is driving reasonably well, uh, not perfectly, but uh, you'll see later on we've got it nearly perfect with the no wiggle version. One thing worth noticing is how bad humans are at driving. Look at these cars, they're just everywhere. I mean, who on earth would let a human drive when you see how bad they are at it? Anyway, I'll point out a few interesting things as we go along. So for the most part, I touched nothing in this entire drive unless we were near exits. Um, so when I was in the left lane, I touched it occasionally just to stop it from taking an exit. Uh, obviously, for changing lanes, I was touching the steering wheel as well. So at this point, um, I stopped the camera and restarted it. Now, the reason for that was because I was actually going to, or actually it's not just yet, it's in about 30 seconds. Um, the reason was that I was actually going to narrate while I was driving, not show any of this. But the issue was that uh, I had other people in the car, I had phone calls coming in and realistically it just, it wasn't going to work. So I thought, no, and I'll just do a full time lapse of the whole lot and uh, do a voiceover afterwards since realistically this bit of the drive was reasonably interesting um, in the sense that it was flawed. So that was where I cut. That was the cut of the video. This is when I started talking and then this is when the phone started ringing and everything went not to plan. So we're starting to get into the city now. We're getting more and more traffic and you can see our speed starting to drop. I'm now only getting about 70Ks, 60Ks and so on because the traffic's getting more dense and humans are bad drivers. Look at it, straight over the line. What reason was there for that apart from just can't drive? And now we're getting down into the 60s. Now there was an interesting change that I made in my tuning which made it actually incredibly good on back roads but unfortunately once I got below about 60 k's I got oscillation in the steering. So this is gone now but I intentionally never touched the steering wheel so that you could see exactly how it was driving. I don't see the point in um, faking how we're actually going. I might as well show you everything, including the bad things that happen. Uh, but otherwise, it stayed within its lane. That oscillation's gone. So when you look at 054, no wiggle video that I'll be putting up soon, all that oscillation's gone. And I don't get any oscillation until we're down to about 10 kilometers an hour now. So there's a few things worth noting here is that all these cars are cutting in front of me and you're not seeing the car slam on its brakes. The reason is that I push the accelerator a little bit to stop it from slamming on the brakes when a car cuts in. Usually that would cancel open pilot, but it doesn't on this one. Now, right here you see me coming into the exit and you'll see I'll turn rather sharp. So now we're at 100%. Uh, what you'll see is it's turning itself, it's turning itself, it's turning itself. Now here we've run out of torque, so I gave a little bit of help let go and open pilot was able to hold it. So we actually ran out of torque there. Um, the reason you saw a jerk back was that I had to slow down, I hit the brake and obviously it cancelled. So we did run out of torque on this particular corner, but to be fair I was actually also travelling rather fast. So thanks for watching guys, please subscribe and share these videos, it helps me a lot. Thank you.